Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and here they are, the uh, Microsoft bug fixing updates that were to be released on the fourth week of every month, starting this month. So they are on the Tuesday this month, and uh, hopefully maybe they'll be always on the Tuesday, that would be nice. Uh, but it's not guaranteed. It doesn't say on every... Somebody said that on one of the um, blog posts of Microsoft it says Tuesday. But a lot of the blog posts mention only fourth week. So if it's Tuesday, it's cool because it'll be more... Uh, we will know when it arrives, just like the security updates. So in Windows 10, you have the optional bug fixing updates. Optional, once again, is a big word because, you know, they'll be installed when you have the patch Tuesday updates of the month of May. Uh, for those thinking, hey, they're supposed not to be uh, for Windows 10, there is for 22H2 only. So you're on 21H2 still, you're not getting updates today. 22H2 only gets them. And so if you go and check out your Windows updates, you will see that there's an optional update that you can click download and install. Uh, if I look at the update history here, you'll see that there's today's cumulative update for uh, April 25th, 2023. So it's KB5025297. Uh, in my case, I also had a uh, .NET Framework update, which maybe was waiting because I noticed that it was um, it arrived also on my Windows 11 machine, but earlier this week, actually uh, yesterday, I think, Monday. So um, basically, uh, it's a bug fixing update. Uh, fixes quite a few things in the uh, uh, the operating the Windows 10 operating system. Fixes a few problems with Microsoft Edge uh, in on Internet Explorer mode, which uh, stops responding and has all sorts of things. If you're using an Xbox Elite or an Xbox Adaptive controller, um, you might have uh, problems in remapping preferences uh, with the, uh, on the desktop. Uh, File Explorer and taskbar and uh, the um, news and interest might flicker and file explorer might stop responding it's a known issue that they fixed fixed quite a lot of things also with uh, the um, local security authority subsystem uh, that was actually stopped responding in windows 10 it caused it would cause the an error of status access violation your computer would restart so uh, some of you might have had that uh, fixing um, a problem that occurs when you're using taskbar thumbnail live previews. Um, they are also looking at um, problems that are happening uh, with different other problems with Edge that were happening also at the same time. And um, any other things of, uh, of, of interest here? Um, not much more. Uh, one problem that um, could address apps that use DirectX on older Intel graphics that might receive an error uh, that would be coming from app-help.dll. So uh, these are all fixed items. Um, so if you had issues, if you had little things happening, there's a, a pretty long list of uh, bug fixing updates um, for this month for Windows 10. Uh, 22H2 only, as I said. And once you're done, if you ask for the Windows version, you should be at 19045.2913. And that is bug fixes for this month. Once again, optional. If you're not having any issues, don't want to install them for now. You can ignore them. They will be installed anyways on Patch Tuesday which will happen on May the 9th this uh, next month. So um, basically, you can leave them alone and they'll be installed anyways. Uh, and of course, uh, they're optional for now. So uh, bug fixes, 22H2 only, Windows 10 are available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.